Droney. I'm a student at MIT. Today I'm going to use these two plungers and a story about 16 horses to talk about pressure and vacuum. This story gets started in the 1650s when a German scientist named Otto von Gehrig invented a new kind of vacuum pump. A vacuum pump is not used to clean your floors, it's used to suck the air out of containers. So armed with his new vacuum pump, he tried a bunch of experiments and in one of them he took two bowls, put them together, and suck the air out from in between them. Now I don't have a vacuum pump here, so I'm going to use these plungers. And I'm going to push the air out from between them. And, <laughs> and what he noticed when these bowls were stuck together was that he couldn't pull them apart. Him and his assistant couldn't pull them apart. And in fact, two teams of eight horses couldn't pull the bowls apart. What was holding them together? Some scientists thought that there was a new vacuum force that was holding them together like glue or like magnets. But the answer that Otto von Gehrig eventually arrived at was that it was actually atmospheric pressure holding the bowls together. Now atmospheric pressure just means a force from the air around us. A pressure is just a force over an area. Where does this force come from? bowls together. There's air inside the bowls and air outside the bowls. And they exactly balance each other so it's easy to pull the bowls apart. When you use a vacuum pump to suck the air out of the bowls, or the plungers to push the air out from between the bowls, This pressure force creates an effect we can use. A small suction cup has a small area, generates a small force, enough to lift a cell phone. A big suction cup has a big area, enough to lift the whole table. But this force is not just used to pick up cell phones and tables, it's used to pick up windshields. and ice cream. And now you understand why and how the same atmospheric pressure force that frustrated horses in the 1650s is used for a variety of useful and sweet purposes today.